Hello everyone, this is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome and don't, for hit, don't forget to click on the subscribe so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Um, today I am doing thank you cards for my customers in the month of February and I know I had mentioned that I was possibly going to use a different card. Well, I was looking at that card and looking at my customers and I thought, oh, that just looks like a lot of work. So I picked a whole different design last night and I started putting it together today and it's just as much work but I thought I'd share it with you since I haven't shown this card yet. So there's only one stamp involved in this and it's one big meaning and I'm using a little thanks so I'm just using the tiny little thanks. I'm going to use basic gray archival pad. I don't use that a lot of my videos but I love it and I'm using the butterfly folder and this is the big 6x6 one. So if you're making a 6x6 six six card, or you're using this on your scrapbook page, you can get a bigger sheet in there. I'm using the banners, framelits, and I'm using butterflies, framelits. And I'm using um, the, let me see, the DSP, let me find the name of it here. This is in the occasions catalog, and it's something with birthdays. It's birthday bo bouquet, and this is a fun, awesome, sweet. It's just really pretty because it has flowers and it has balloons. It's just really pretty. It's got different colors. Okay, so Blushing Bright Glimmer, Pink Pirouette cardstock, Soft Sky cardstock, and Whisper White um, Thick cardstock, and Whisper White Regular. And I'm using the, um, oh my goodness, I will put the name of it right here. I think it's the Word Window Punch. I'm using that there, and I'm going to demonstrate again the Big Shot dye brush, which I love, and if you can see all the glitter, there's glitter over, I have over everything, and I have a lot of people ask me, is the glitter paper really messy? It's really not messy, except for when you're cutting hundreds of butterflies out and hundreds of <laughs> sparkly things out, but if you're just doing a couple or you're doing, it's really not too bad. And it shakes off pretty easy, but it is covered. I have just pink glitter everywhere, and I think it's probably over my chickens, too, because I was getting eggs after, and I'm sure some of them have glitter. But they'll know that their, their chicken mama <laughs> likes to craft. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's see. I think I am going to work from the bottom up. I'm going to go ahead and make two cards at the same time. I've actually already, and I'm going to pull up a little bit. As you can see right here, I already cut everything for my customer thank you cards. Except for those people that are still ordering in the month of January. You have until January 31st for your January thank you um, handmade uh, personal card in the mail from me. And then I move on to my March card. So this is something I do every month for my customers that spend over $40 a month with me. And if you order 50 or more, you also get a celebration free item up until the end of March, so that's a good incentive to bump up your order. Okay, so we're going to start, let's start at the, let's start with this piece right here. So this is, are they the same size? Yes. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches, and let's just pull that aside here, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to do everything on the big shot. I'm just going to do everything. I know I already posted a video on my blog on Tuesday, today's Wednesday, so I'm going to put this and count this for my Thursday. Remember how I said I was going to blog every day in 2016? Well, I'm still trying to do that, but I'm, I'm missing some days, and I'm okay with that because I just don't want to put up junk. Like, I only want to put up things that really I'm passionate about and I, you're in, going to be interested in. I don't just want to, if nothing's going on in that day and I'm like not feeling like crafting or I'm not really, or I'm working on my business stuff because I... I have a pretty large team that I need to focus on too, so sometimes I don't, I'm not always crafting. Sometimes I'm just helping them out a little bit. So you're not going to see something every day, but I'm trying. Okay. And, um, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like, you don't know what, you don't have anything to say, <laughs> basically. Basically, I'll just be honest. Okay, so I'm going to put my paper in here. Where are my, here's one. Where's the other one? Hold on one second. Okay, so I have my paper in there, and I'm going to do this two times. Notice how this just fits in here. This in, this folder will not fit in the other die cut machines or the other embossing machines because it's too wide. So you do have to use a Big Shot for this size of embossing folder. Okay, so I did it once and then I'm gonna do it again. Set that aside and we'll do it one more time. 
And if you're already making one, don't you think you should just make more than one, right? And that's what I do. I'm usually, actually, I usually make them in sets of four, and I think I've said that before in a video. I try not to just make one because then I don't want that paper, you know, the extra paper sitting by itself. Okay, we're done with this. And we're done with the platform, the multi-purpose platform. And I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, so I have my my embossed butterflies. So while we have our big shot out, let's go ahead and work on our banners next. Now I'm not sure if you guys know this, but you can cut um, more than one thing at a time with the um, the big shot, and it depends on how thick the paper is, of course. So with this one. I'm not going to do it now because I have it in one sheet, but um, when I was doing multiple, I just had them stacked on top of each other, and I could do three sheets at one time. That might change your life. If you didn't know that, that might change your crafting life forever, and you're welcome. I think you're going to love it. <laughs> it really saves a lot of time, especially when I'm getting ready for my classes. Did you know you can even emboss? And I should have done that with the butterflies. You can emboss two sheets at one time, and I also do that for my class just to save time. So if you think, oh, she does. Now the butterflies with the glimmer, you're gonna find out in a minute. I did have to do them one at a time. Anything with the glimmer paper or that's using really thick paper, you probably should just do it. Or if it's really intricate, um, so I would just do one sheet. So like the butterflies that I'm about to show you and then the, the Bloom in Love or the Bloom in Love dye, whatever it's called, that one I, would, I just did one at a time. So if you took my online Bloom and Love class, I did all of those individually because I didn't want to mess it up. Okay, the last thing I'm going to put through the die cut is the butterfly. And I'm using the magnetic under here and I have the multi-purpose, I'm sorry, this is the precision um, plate right here. And it, I know I did a video where I had it upside down. I'm still embarrassed about that. So if you remember that and you thought, oh, she's using it right. Robin knows how to use it right. I learned quick, I guess, <laughs> and I was wondering why it wasn't working, and I did a lot of my, um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, nobody's perfect, it's good, it's good to acknowledge that. Okay, so for the butterfly and the glimmer, you put it directly on the precision, and aren't my nails cute, I just did them last night, sorry, okay, I'm distracted easily today, <laughs> okay, I'm putting on my butterfly directly on my glimmer paper, on the precision plate, you only need one... Um, one of these, one of the sandwich, whatever they're called. Now this one, because it is so intricate and I'm cutting thicker and glimmer paper, I'm going to go through, you're going to see my hand in a weird spot, one, and then I'm going to go back, two, and I'm going to go up, yes, and I did that on all of, so if you're getting one of these thank you cards in the mail, I just, I'm so thankful for you and I hope you can feel it because I really wanted to make these cards special and they were a lot of work but you know what that's okay because you guys are so worth it to me I appreciate all of your orders and all the joy you guys give me for letting me to be able to do what I love and share it with you guys okay I'm getting the brush the big shot brush and do you see how that's in there like this and I'm going to take it and hold down one side and I'm just gonna brush it gently if you're using delicate paper kind of brush softly because you could rip it if you're not careful, but this is not delicate paper, so it gets most of the little pieces out. Yeah, you can do that if you want. And then um, I can take with my hand the rest of them. I'm okay doing that. Okay, missed a couple. There we go. And some of the little tiny... Is not a piece right there? Yeah, it is. Okay, got them all except for that one right here. Okay, there's my butterfly. And I can put these away now. Set that aside. Okay, so, oh, I was going to do two, wasn't I? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'll do two off screen. And then, oh, actually, I have one that's already made over here. I'll just steal from that pile. Okay, there's a little bit of glimmer. Um, glimmer, glitter, but that's all right. Okay, here we are. We've got our cute butterflies. And we're ready to assemble this simple, well, it's simple, but it's nice, and I really like that it's a springtime card. It's like gorgeous here today. I think it was like 50 something. Yeah, I know. But then it's probably gonna snow tomorrow because that's how it is in Utah. Yesterday it was, or last week it was 
gorgeous. And then we got all this snow. We got like two inches in one day. And I'm like, what? I'm done with snow. I'm really, really, really done. This California girl is done with snow for a while. I wasn't raised in the snow much. And yeah. Okay. This is pink pirouette cardstock. Five and a half by eight and a half. Fold this in half. Whoops, and don't do that. Okay, so I guess I keep forgetting I'm doing two at a time. Like in my personal crafting, I'm used to it, but like on video, I just usually try to be really quick. Okay, so we're not doing any special ribbons or anything, so we can go ahead and just start layering. Set that aside. Now, the when you're embossing, you can have two sides that you can choose from where it's raised up or where it's kind of raised in and like pressed in, I guess, or embossed, right? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I'm going to do it where it's like this, where it's kind of the butterfly is pushed in. But most of the time I do it where it's kind of sticking up. So long story short, and I'm going to use my Fast Fuse here. And Fast Fuse is awesome. You just have to be able to um, pull it off. And I do kind of like a check and that pulls it off. It's wonderful and it's very sticky. This is my my adhesive of choice right now is the Fast Fuse. So every time I'm ordering I usually add a Fast Fuse refill on my order. Okay. There we go. And, da -da 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 -da. and there are going to be sparklies everywhere with this card. That's okay because I this is a sparkly card. Now, if I was making the masculine card like I did yesterday, probably don't want as many pink sparkles on it. My son doesn't really like pink. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing with this. And we're going to add this on. This is the soft sky, like I said. And the blue paper, the soft sky, is cut at five and a quarter by four inches. Okay, so that will fit perfectly on here. Ta da! There we go. And this one. Ta da! And then I'm done with a couple of my cards. I'm trying to get them sent out tonight, and then I can. My teenager, who normally helps me, isn't feeling well. She usually does all my. Every month for my thank you cards, she puts on all the return address labels, all the stamps, and then I have her address all of them. And it usually takes her a few hours, and I give her a little extra money. You know how teenagers are so poor. Always, she always spends her money, so she's always like, can I have something to do? And I'm like, oh yeah, this is perfect timing. Okay, so I'm stamping in the going gray, basic gray, <laughs> basic gray, and I'm going to stamp it, and then I'm going to stamp it on this side so I can line it up with my punch window. And these are just little scraps. So keep your scraps, especially of the Whisper White, because I do use it for a lot of little pieces. And the trick, you guys see the glitter. I'm so embarrassed. It's usually not this much glitter. And people ask me all the time, is it very messy? It's really not messy, and it's a good kind of messy. And I don't normally say that. Okay, so that popped up. That matched up, lined up perfectly. A little thanks, because I love you a lot. All right. Okay, now let's just finish this card. So excited. So we're going to take our banner right here. And I am just doing direct to um, the, the layer. I'm not going to pop this up or anything. And it's a little bit thinner, so it's a thinner paper. It's not the cardstock, so I just, I want this to be just kind of in the background. My star of the show is my butterfly. We don't want anyone trying to upstage my butterfly, right? Because it's pink and sparkly and gorgeous. Okay, so, oh, I forgot, if you guys are new to my channel and you want to check out my MyPinkStamper.com or if you'd like to place an order, it's MyPinkStamper.StampinUp.net. If you have any questions, it's MyPinkStamper at gmail.com. It's my email address. I'd love to help you out. Okay, so we're going to take the butterfly and we're just going to pull the wings up like this. And the same thing with the other one. So pretty. I don't know. When I started liking butterflies, I really do think it didn't have to happen until I was crafting. So for these, I'm going to use my um, glue dots. It's good to have a roll of glue dots around. Okay, one, and then I'm going to put one on the tail. Tail, okay, and I'm going to stick it right 
kind of in the middle. You need to make sure. So when I'm sending it in the mail, these will flatten, but most of my customers know they can lift it up like that when they are displaying my card, because, right, we hope people put our homemade cards out that people can see them, right, and they don't just go in the garbage. I know I do. I love getting homemade cards in the mail, and they're just, oh, I'm sorry, but they're just a little more special than store-bought cards. And I, you know, I'm just saying that. Just, just putting that out there. Okay, so a little thanks on the back. Let's go ahead and use the dimensionals, and we're going to cut them. If you use your good scissors, just wipe it off with a wipe or something like that. Cut these in half, and when I was a demonstrator before years ago, and I did a lot of in-home workshops, I did probably like five a week, and I was so frugal with my dimensionals. I'm like, these have got to last for all these people. You know, my husband, we were students, and I was like, oh, they've got to last. I would cut them in fourths. Like, I'm not even kidding. I would cut them in fourths before I went to a workshop, and it's a good idea, you know, because you have to, as a demonstrator, you have to be frugal in the beginning, right? You don't want to spend everything on, you want to play with your product. So you want to make it last. So you guys can, my whole point to that long story, is you can do that too. You can cut them in fourths. I don't really feel the need to anymore because I just feel like they're so cost efficient. And I'm just going to put a little thanks right here. And a little thanks. This is probably one of my most favorite cards that I've ever made. And I think you hear me say that every time. But I honestly feel that way. Just ignore all of the million glitter things. So if you guys are getting in this in the mail from me, I hope you know how much I appreciate you. I thank you so much for all of your support in my little business online. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Have a fabulous day. Bye. Thanks again for watching MyPinkStamper.com. Here's a full supply list for you on the right hand side and you can order 24-7 at MyPinkStamper.StampinUp.net. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you soon. Bye!